Hi guys, um, in this video I'm going to show you what I did in Busan, the second largest city in Korea. There were holidays um, between September and October, so I took a train and trained to Busan, like a famous Korean movie. And, um, and nothing, it's getting colder here in Korea, now it's sunset time. The number of cases, fortunately, um, has gone down in the recent period, so that's why I had the possibility to go for this trip. The trip actually started from Seoul and this is the view from Namsan Tower which is 236 meters high and it gives an amazing view over all the city. It was beautiful because it was also a golden hour. This is instead the station, the main station of Seoul where we took the train to get to Busan. It was quite busy. And this is Busan, uh, Hyundai Beach, which is the area in which we were staying. We were staying in a hostel, two minutes literally by walking to this beach. So it's the first thing that we did. And as you can see, Korean ladies are always super prepared with some tripods to take pictures. This is the beach at night. And our first destination was Gancheon Culture Village, which is a very colorful district of the city, which was um, recently renovated. Because uh, until the 70s, all these houses that you see were made of wood. And then in the 80s and 90s, they built two level houses. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> it is also called the Machu Picchu of Busan, or I would say the Positano of Korea. This is Yagalchi Market, which is the biggest fish market in South Korea. And indeed, I was surprised by how many species of fish there were that I have never seen in my life. Here, octopus. The variety was incredible. Some raw fish, some real fish over here. This weird fish. And here we asked to this lady to cook an octopus for us. So the octopus was uh, still alive and then she cooked it for us. Mm, that's super good. This is Hyundai area at night. We went to eat with my friends with lactose and um, meat with a lot of vegetables too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and it's crazy. No, and she's she has no feeling. You know? like, yeah. When she when we when I'm gonna be in the back on this video. Yangunsa Temple is. Um, probably the most beautiful temple in Busan. It's one of the few temples which is located by the sea. As you can see, the scenery is amazing. And it's a Buddhist temple that has been built in the 14th century, then destroyed during the Japanese colonization and rebuilt in the 20th century. This is Siat Ottok, which is Korean style sweet pancake with brown sugar and some seeds. This is grilled mackerel. And the Diamond Bridge, which is the second longest bridge of South Korea, which gives a view over the city. 
that is very nice the sea and the city and this is the trip that I had on this cable car Busan is the fifth busiest port in the world and the first in Korea obviously and the city has 3.5 million inhabitants this is Korean barbecue the famous one as you can see there are a lot of small plates in which they put vegetables this is gimbap another very popular Korean dish um, it's basically a roll with rice uh, seaweed um, cheese vegetables you can put meat or you can put fish a lot of options and this instead is mandu or dumpling Korean style dumpling again with vegetables and meat Nampo is one of the busiest area of Busan and uh, it, it was very bright at night a lot of lights and a lot of corners in which they were selling food street food and people were also eating outside having fun and this is us in an Itzakaya. We had a lot of fun, we were such an international group of people and um, I hope you liked the video and you liked Busan, um, I really personally liked it. The next video is going to be about uh, Jeju Island, my second trip and Jeju Island is the most popular touristic destination in South Korea. Um, until that time I hope you're having um, a good time in your country and goodbye.